Good morning guys and welcome to yet another weekly vlog. I just woke up, it's about 8.30 and I need to take Dorian out for his pee pee. <laughs> um, because at 9, the latest of my family, so my grand, my aunt and my mom arrive, we'll have some coffee and then all of us are going to Nina. I think to either to God current or in it, I'm not exactly sure. We'll take a ferry and go basically to the island to do some mushroom foraging, which I haven't done in quite a long time and I love it. We used to always do it there um, when I was a kid. So should be fun. It seems like a lovely sunny day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not even sure what to wear, honestly, because we'll be um, in the forest and uh, I'm taking Doran with me. I have to run outside for a quick little walk and then I'll have my breakfast and I'll take you guys along on our foraging adventure. But yeah, last night I finished editing and uploaded um, last week's vlog which I hope you guys liked. It was the last summer weekend which I spent with family and friends and it was so so lovely and today is the 1st of September, officially autumn. I'm really upset about it but at the same time it cannot be summer all the time, right? <laughs> as much as I would love to. By the way, this silk scrunchie uh, was made by my cousin Linda. She made it for me. Anyway, gotta go. We're back from our walk. Now I need to have a quick breakfast. Maybe I'll have coffee with all of them. So I'm just gonna make myself some eggs. Maybe scramble. Okay, so these are perfect scrambled eggs, super fluffy and not dry. Just gonna add some pepper. And voila, this is my avocado on toast with scrambled eggs. Doran is tired. <laughs> Haven't found anything <laughs> so far. <laughs> Doria. And the beach is right there if you cross the dunes. Still haven't found anything, not a single mushroom. Well, the poisonous ones, yes, but not the edible mushrooms. And they're like these. These are not to be eaten. Whoops! There's so many spider nets. I just got into one. Dorian is so happy. Daria! He's riding around the forest like crazy. <laughs> Oh god, 
I just got stuck in this massive cobweb. <laughs> and look at the spider. Urgh. Sorry to anyone who hates spiders, but I just basically bounced back like a ball. <laughs> Look at this tree, it's so beautiful. So there is a chance because my aunt just found one. It's so beautiful here and it's such a... I just want to touch this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's such a beautiful sunny day. It's incredible and it's so warm. Look at this cobweb. So yeah, it seems that we came here too early. We're, I think we were supposed to come here like late September or October because we didn't have a lot of rain. Um, it was just like super sunny, so mushrooms didn't grow. And there's nothing to forage. um so i'm actually making myself some dinner uh i got some freesias but they look pretty sad because um yeah i need to put something else in here it's a pretty empty bouquet so tomorrow i'm gonna get uh some more flowers and make a nice arrangement um but yeah i love freesias they smell incredible and they're really pretty as well um Okay, so I got spring onions and dill. Then I got Oatly Barista Oat Milk, which is amazing. Um, my favorite one. Then some mushrooms. This is what I'm going to use for dinner. Mushrooms, spring onions, and um, I'm going to make a creamy pasta. Uh, some Greek olives. I also got this uh, teeny tiny frying pan. Um, this one is Blini Pan, durable cast iron with pre-seasoned coating. It's really heavy. It's from Mako Kitchen Life, uh, a brand that I really like for kitchenware. I'm gonna use it for scrambled eggs in the morning, I feel like. Um, so yeah. And it's great for serving breakfast as well. I've seen it in a few different restaurants. This is my favorite uh, spaghetti, pasta toscana. You can get this in Vinateca in Lithuania. Yeah, I love it. So just gonna use some cream, mushroom, spring onion, as I said, um, lots of cheese. It's gonna be like pretty simple. My two favorites, Alper Barista Oat Milk and Oatly Barista version. This one, Ita Oat Milk, not good at all. I mean, for frothing, it doesn't froth. Um, yeah, these two are amazing. And also Yosa, which I cannot find anywhere anymore. By the way, these are actually my favorite olives of all time. And my favorite cheese. Uh, truffle cheddar. This is my favorite like snack with a uh, glass of wine. Hey baby! That's my dinner, creamy, cheesy pasta with mushrooms and spring onion. Okay, so first of all, we have a Toi white t-shirt, which in my opinion looks super chic because it's very thick. So it has a nice uh, drape to it, it falls nicely. And I think the shoulder sleeves add a little bit of that extra 
chicness to it. I think with this t-shirt, I would actually tuck it in my jeans and wear it like this, put a belt on and yeah, it's just such a basic uh, t-shirt, but uh, I think it looks nice for every day. Just like a little different um, to your normal tee. Okay, this is the white knitted top. I have just a simple um, H&M bra on. You cannot really see much of it and I love this knit. It's super fine and it just feels so nice on the body. Like it's so soft and um, yeah, it kind of hugs you in. It just feels super pleasant on the body. It's like so, so soft. I would just wear it like this probably and maybe like put a blazer uh, or a coat on top. But yeah, maybe a vest. I think a knitted vest would look really nice. So this is the Atwa coat on and can you hear the noise that it makes? Um, so just wear it like this. This is the top. Um, I put on my new Zara boots on and yeah, you can see it's quite a long coat, it's got pockets. I kind of feel like Sherlock Holmes with these shoes, so maybe I would casual it down with the sneakers and wear it like this, just like a more chill outfit. Yeah, I love the color and the sort of texture. Um, so yeah, this is my new rainy day French coat. So that's everything from Atois. Thank you guys so, so much for sending these pieces um, to me. And now um, I want to show you this, uh, which is a Lithuanian brand called Unlabel, uh, which is a pretty cool name, if you ask me. And they sent me a big box of stuff. It's a really beautiful brand. They do very high quality clothing, uh, or so it seems to me. It's not the cheapest, but I feel like with Unlabel, you pay for the quality. Look at this, it's fully packed. And um, these are the pieces from their previous collections. So they have a new uh, autumn winter collection, which uh, definitely check it out. They have really cool pieces, lots of faux leather, dark sort of autumnal colors. These maxi leather skirts, uh, yeah, it's really cool. So it says unlabeled tender vibes. I really wanted these pieces for my autumn wardrobe. Oh, these are actually on sale at the moment. Um, so the price of this jumper was 159 euros and now it's 111. Um, it's 90% wool and 10%, uh, I don't know, viscose maybe? Uh, Unlabel was established in Lithuania in 2012. So yeah, oh, this looks so cozy and it's very soft actually. Because uh, sometimes wool can be itchy, but this one is super soft. It's this sort of cocoa um, color sweater. It's got a little higher neck, but not a turtleneck. I really like these cuffed sleeves. Um, so yeah, it looks very nice and cozy for autumn, especially um, under big coats. I feel like it would keep you super warm as well because obviously it's wool. Um, then the other piece is a pair of trousers. These are 90% wool as well. Again, the exact same price. Uh, oh, wow, these will be so cozy for around the house. But I would actually wear them out as well with my um, white sneakers, big coat and these um, knitted wool trousers. These will be so perfect for going to the beach in autumn with a cup of coffee. Oh my god, I'm already fantasizing how I would wear them. These are so lovely and as I said, and they have these super big pockets. Uh, one for your phone, one for poop bags, for Dorian. <laughs> yeah, as I said, everything is super high quality as I expected because like you can tell by looking at this brand that everything is so well made. And then this is their Kazuki coat. By the way, I got everything in size small. So this is 50% wool, 37% cotton, and then 
13% something. I don't know exactly because it's just two letters. Look at this code, it's so beautifully folded. I don't even want to undo it. You know what, I actually want to take a picture of it, so wait a sec. This is quite an expensive coat, I believe. It doesn't even say the price on here, but I believe it was over 300 euros. I cannot tell exactly now, but I'll, I'll link it below um, with everything that I mentioned. Um, but yeah, it's this sort of military green color. Uh, it's pretty thick and um, it's got really massive pockets. Like, I feel like this is um, the accent detail of the coat. And I see that it catches every little bit of fluff and dog hair. So I'll have to be pretty cautious when I go out and uh, use a lint roller. Um, so yeah, it's a gorgeous wool um, autumn coat. It's pretty long actually, um, 165. Um, so it almost touches the bottom for me. It has a belt as well, which is essential for me. I love um, these sort of robe style coats that you can belt. This looks so chic and so... Um, this looks like such a classy, chic coat. Again, super high quality. Um, so, so well made. Uh, and the sleeves have this little opening. I'm gonna put on the jumper from Unlabel. Oh my god, I love it. It's so warm and so cozy and I love the neckline. I love that it's not a um, full-on turtleneck. I feel like I'm gonna live in this jumper all autumn and winter. Just such a nice high quality warm knit and I feel like it's not gonna bubble up very soon and yeah it's just beautiful ribbed knit. Now I'm gonna put the coat on. Let's see. Oh the belt is so long. Everything needs ironing so please excuse that. But whoa, those pockets, <laughs> they would fit a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is what the coat looks like. It's just quite a straight line coat. Um, this is the lapel. Let me belt it. I would wear it belted like this with my mango bag. I feel so warm now because obviously both of these items are wool. What do you guys think? And now I want to try the trousers. Oh my god, these might be one of my favorite things. They're so cozy and so soft. They're absolutely incredible. <gasps> ah, I'm in love. And they have this... Um, belt thingy here on the side. I thought I wouldn't wear these two together, but actually this is quite a cool tone beige. It's more of a grayish color. So I feel like they work together and oh my God, this is the coziest outfit ever. Amazing. So just some sneakers, this, a big coat, and I'm ready for like, for the beach or like um, cozy autumn days. This I would wear around the house as well. It's just such a luxurious, um, beautiful set. So thank you so, so much Unlabel. I'm in love. These trousers are so gorgeous. I just imagine myself chilling at home in this outfit all autumn and winter long with Dorian. So yeah, thank you so much on label and a toi. And uh, maybe I'll show you the dress in another vlog because it's too many clothes now. I gotta go now, uh, have barbecue with the family and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'll show you guys my outfits really quickly. My jumper is old Bershka jumper. Um, the trousers are vintage and they're sort of here you can see better satin wide trousers my nike air force um 
the coat is vintage men's coat and then my Pekka uh, croissant bag. So yeah, this is my outfit and off I go. Dorian is already waiting at the door for me. Maybe here you can see a little bit better. I got Linda a little rose and also I told you I'll show you the book that I was getting her. I got Secret History by Donna Tart. I have it in English. Haven't read it yet, but I know that it's about dark academia and when she bought her clothes, she said I kind of look like I'm from dark academia, so I think she might like it. The Lithuanian edition is so beautiful. It's hardcover and I just think it's it's much more beautiful than the English copy that I have. So yeah, this will be this year's start of school um, gift for Linda. She's starting 10th grade, by the way. Morning, guys. Today I woke up really early because I wanted to go for a beach walk with Dorian. So I'm wearing this new set that I got from Unlabel. And then I put my vintage leather vest on top just for like an extra layer. And this is my walk at the beach. Um, Outfit. So here I am, it's quite windy today. I'm gonna go to Adekate to get some coffee. So I'm having a cappuccino and granola with yogurt. This is uh, one of the linen masks that uh, Vida from Good Taste Citizen makes and will start selling soon. I have um, this beige one and a black one as well. This one just wants to go on the beach. The beach is right there. It's such a beautiful sunny day and I wanted to have a peaceful cup of coffee at a beach cafe <laughs> but um, there were a bunch of school kids with teachers so it was wasn't as peaceful as I would have hoped but either way we came to the beach Orion is running around this is a, a beach uh, where you can come with dogs it's Malraga and uh, yeah <laughs> he's super happy I absolutely love what they did here um, in this beach. I mean, look how beautiful and clean it is and how chic these benches are. I think I'll make it a tradition to come every single morning, wake up a little bit earlier and come to the beach for beach walks. So I'm gonna take my own coffee every morning. Look at this design, I love it. Look at the amount of beach rows here. So my friend Vida lives here next to this beach and she collected the blossoms and made beach rose vodka. There's so much of it uh, around here and it smells simply incredible. <laughs> Fine shoes and mango. I love them. I tried similar ones in Zara, but I think I prefer these ones. They look like Prada. I love them. Hey 
Hey guys, um, Doran and I just came back from the vet. He needed to have his second vaccine, so he got one um, when he was a baby, and this one was a little, a couple of months overdue. So I was really, really anxious going to the vet this morning. Kind of felt like taking my child to the doctors, and like I don't know, I just want him to be fine. Um, yeah. I was extremely nervous for no reason because he's a completely healthy boy and yeah he got his vaccine now i'm gonna go buy a couple of things i need to buy for home and then go pick up another parcel with clothing i think yeah we'll go back home so we're going for a walk oh that's the book that i got linda yesterday Secret History by Don Donatar, the new Harry Potter edition, which is so stunning. Just checking books. One of my favorite coffee places, Musangas. We're just walking along the river and I just spotted a new restaurant. I didn't know they opened a new place here. So the new place is there. I don't know what food they have, but we'll have to go with friends. We're just on a little walk in the old town before it starts raining. So now it's quite nice. By the way, my film camera broke. I don't know what happened to it, but like the shutter doesn't work anymore. So I'll have to look for a new film camera. I miss it when I don't have it with me. This is such a nice place for a walk. By the way, my hair is greasy. I have no makeup on. Embracing the natural look. But yeah, uh, look at this. Such a nice place for a walk in the evenings. It's especially nice here. It's like very romantic and I don't know if I've been here to this, to this, like I've never seen this side. So let's go have a look. The boys are fishing and as I said I've never been to this side of the river. It's new to me and it's amazing. Like you can come and just chill on these steps or have a little picnic on top of the hill. It started raining pretty badly. I want to show you this incredibly beautiful suit that arrived yesterday. My camera is not focusing, but yeah, the light is not good to show it to you properly, but maybe you can see. I just want to live in it. It's so comfortable, so beautiful, fits me like a glove. I adore everything about the suit. So it's from Lindex Extended Collection. They are kinder to the planet when making these clothes and I just think this suit is everything. It's a full-on suit, so it comes with a vest that you can button up. Uh, these high-waisted trousers. These are actually a little too long on me, so I'll ask my grandmother to alter them for me a little bit uh, because they touch the floor. And uh, yeah, this is the jacket. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had somewhere to go now. Uh, that I could wear this suit. I think it's perfect for an office job, but also for like going out to events or even to meet your friends. I think this is such a badass look. You can tone it down with uh, some sneakers or you can dress it up. Like now I'm wearing these um, little sandals from Zara and a shoulder bag. This is from Mango. But yeah, this is um, a look that I would wear to an event. Um, but yeah, definitely perfect for an office as well because you'll feel so comfortable in it. It's not restricting at all. It's so soft. Honestly, it's amazing. Um, it's this dark gray pinstripe um, 
fabric. Right, Darian? <laughs> Thank you so much, Lindex. It was gifted to me, so yeah. Now I just wanna live in it. So guys, I just came back with my mom. We had some coffee. I'm still finishing mine. And I showed her uh, the new Lyman magazine because Aux is in it. I don't remember if I showed this to you guys, but I was in last month's uh, Lyman magazine. So they have, uh, what is it called? Must have. Uh, yeah, must have um, articles. So it features uh, three Lithuanian girls every month. So this is uh, Gia Ram, she's an artist. Then I was in it. We have to talk about uh, our five must-have fashion items. And then before me, it was Inga Sienkiewicz in it. She's one of my favorite Lithuanian fashionistas. She's such an inspiration, gorgeous woman, very kind, I've talked to her. Yeah, I just love her. Uh, so shout out to Inga. Uh, so yeah, I was in last month's issue and in this month's, you can still purchase this one. It's Alxe. Just gonna sit in my suit. Uh, yeah. I love these. So these are Marbu Dime Bites. These are incredible, but I had like five already, so I'm not gonna have any more, but so, so good. Um, yeah, I mentioned my mom asked me to um, help her buy a pair of jeans. Um, so I was kind of a personal shopper <laughs> for a day. And uh, we bought Lindex Nea jeans for mom. So the ones that I have in blue, but we got a um, different shade of blue for her. They fit amazingly. They're just classic high-waisted straight leg jeans. That look really good. I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting to open a wedding invite to my oldest friend's wedding. This is dear Yeva. Um, so one of my best friends, Gabriela, I've known her since childhood. Um, she's younger than me, so basically from birth, our moms were best friends. They grew up together. Um, so she's getting married this February. But together with the invite, she sent um, a notice that the wedding might be postponed to next year due to coronavirus, obviously. Let's do it. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. I can already see even this is so stunning. Oh my God, so pretty. Look at this envelope dress code, wedding language, accommodation, uh, presents, wedding flowers. Kindly of respond before first. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's supposed to be in a castle. It's a really beautiful place. I've been there before and yeah. I'll just keep my fingers crossed that we'll be able to have her wedding this year. I cannot believe she's getting married. So anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I have tons of work to do actually. I've been shopping today, but I have like six brands to shoot for, a ton of emails to get back to. So yeah, I better go and I'll see you later. By the way, guys, these are the flowers that I picked from the beach today. And the bouquet looks really cute. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on this book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I read 56 pages and I have to give it back to my brother's girlfriend because she's moving. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I could have read it in a day because it's like such an easy book to read, but I didn't have the urge to pick it up and read it. Um, you know what I mean? So it's not a book that I feel like I'm learning something. I feel like what I'm reading is stuff that I already know and I'm not sure if I like his language. Basically the voice of Mark Manson. So I don't know, I feel like I could be reading way better books uh, than this one. So I'm going to give it back without having finished this book and I I do not regret it. I mean, I, I read his second book, 
um, everything is fucked and I feel like they're kind of similar and to be honest I don't even remember I read 56 pages and I don't even rem remember what I read which means that nothing has stuck with me I didn't take anything from this book thus far so I'm not gonna waste my time and I'm gonna give it back so giving up on the third read of the month I want to show you guys this because I think it's so beautiful. Um, the design is amazing. So these are beach swings, uh, mostly for kids. There's a kindergarten. Today is Saturday and we are biking from Palanga to Schwentoy, which is a route we already did before by we, I mean my parents and I. It's really cold. I'm freezing actually. I think we'll have lunch there and It's crazy. 